I wanted to just talk about uh, my three years of experience with uh, the Stage 2 Plus APR Ultra Charger Tune on my A4, uh, S4, B8 S4. Uh, for 90,000 miles, I had the single pulley Stage 1 Tune on it. Uh, and it was good, felt nice, had power. And then just as the car got higher mileage and needed service and maintenance, I ended up going with all the other parts when I went in there to do all the maintenance intervals and stuff. I, I went stage two plus and added all the performance parts that APR has. So for the last three years, I've been driving it around with a uh, stage two ultra charger system on it on 91 octane. and been quite happy with it it's great in the canyons the power band the torque it pulls out of corners uh and gears great straight line i mean you're gonna beat some stuff on the on the road you're not beating uh like straight line drag cars these days some of these higher turbo twin turbo big um supercharged v v8 cars on e85 and stuff i mean really one of the main things with this car is that like uh you can't go e85 you can do an e40 mix um but uh, these are limited on power to today's standard. You know, this is a 2010. So if you go by 2010 and you're like, hey, I got 550 wheel horsepower, that was pretty respectable back then. But now cars are making 2000 horsepower. So um, this is a Canyon car. I mean, if you if you don't like driving in Canyons and like Quattro and a sport diff and, and wanna um, go on Canyon drives, I would say, you know, get a different, different type of car. You know, I don't, it just kind of, that's what this is for particularly. But um, the tune's been great. It's been reliable. I haven't had any issues with it. I have 110,000 miles on this engine and uh, nothing's failed other than the cats, which is a common issue, uh, but wasn't even really engine related. That's more emissions related. So um, I am about to put the 100 octane tune in it and 100 octane fuel because i don't drive this car that much and i only fill it up maybe once a month or twice a month like you know when i go on a couple canyon runs so uh i'm just gonna see kind of if that if i can notice that 50 horsepower more that um you get from the 100 octane tune and i'm sure a lot of people are like oh apr sucks go 034 go e40 utronic all these other brands and this or that what but thing is is uh, i've had the car for eight years i've had the apr tune on it it's been reliable i've had no problems with it it's already paid for i can switch my map and not have to pay for it 100 octane makes basically the same horsepower the e40 tune makes i have access to 100 octane near my house it's not my daily driver and i don't have to put a high pressure fuel pump in it and i don't have to repay for tuner s services basically so I'm gonna just uh, put 100 octane in it and drive it with that on there. And then I'll kind of give my thoughts on, you know, is there a major difference where I think that it's better, if I think it's worse, if I blow it up, I don't, you know, I don't think it'll blow up. I see a lot of these with pretty high miles these days. So um, hopefully it doesn't mess with the reliability, but um, overall thus far, like, I know a lot of people kind of switched from APR stuff, but I haven't had a single problem with it over eight years. And I've done each step and stage, you know, they didn't even have the ultra charger when I got the car and when I had the stage one tune and all of that. So, um, you know, it's not really like, hey, go do APR. I'm just saying it works. It's been reliable for me. This car has been tuned since it had 20,000 miles on it and I have 110,000 miles on it now and it's still running strong and I have no I have no issues um, with it so yeah that's it